Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Black 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 Out. Yes. Welcome. Look at Bugs. He's like, who loves you, baby? Dude, he's about to smoke that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think smoking carrots means what you think it means, Aaron. Oh. Well, it's fine. You gotta come from the streets if you want to learn that kind of lingo. All right, we're playing Bugs Bunny's birthday blowout for the second time. Yes, yes we are. This is, this is, we already played a little bit of it, but then everything broke, so we have to do it again. Right. And you've heard me rant about the everything breaking on this show that's super easy and nothing should break. The only thing I break are codes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and bulls. It's Bugs Bunny's 50th birthday. Yay! Oh, that's crazy, he was 50 already yeah. when this came out, which was... 30-something years ago. He- look, he has been invited to a huge party in his honor. Well, I would hope so. Who's throwing the party? Don't know. Yeah. Bugs Bunny receives a party invitation he's, as he, like, whiffs away a fart with his hand. Well, of course, he farts like a grandpa. He's 50. <laughs> he's, he probably has a prostate the size of a grapefruit. It reads, gotta get real close to it. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Bugs. As members of a- it's not- it says invitation. Yes. It <laughs> It says invitation. Why didn't it say it says invitation? Also, they didn't leave a space after the comma. That is disgraziata. <laughs> Invitatio. As members of your fan club, it is our pleasure to request your presence as the honored guest at the spectacular Bugs Bunny birthday blowout. However, as fellow Lacey's pals are very unhappy about this party. Is Wiley Coyote really his pal? I guess they're all pals. I, I don't know. I imagine they're like cast members of a show. Oh, I see. You know, and like what we see is the is like what people see of Game Grumps. Like, it's a show. They don't really get to see like us like palling out, which we never do. Yeah, I. Not, not what is this? Twenty fourteen? <laughs> <laughs> Please, we have not looked at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has ever. We're doing this between like a piece of glass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, like, but like. Very tinted. Yes. <laughs> Nobody has ever given parties in their honor to the people. Right. Why does Bugs Bunny get so much attention, Wiley Coyote asks. Wiley Coyote doesn't talk. Just so FYI. Yeah, he's like the one that doesn't talk. He's the one that doesn't talk. <laughs> it's like if they could made Roadrunner say it. Yeah. Just holds up a sign. Yeah. That says, why does Bugs Bunny get so much attention? Roadrunner said, meep meep. <laughs> he and the others are so mad that they try to prevent Bugs from reaching his own birthday party. Bugs must now make his way to the party. Very cautiously. Who's who's gonna be at the party if everyone's trying to stop him from getting there? I don't know. Maybe he has friends that aren't on the show. That that's insane. You know, like Steve or whatever. <laughs> it's like his best friend Steve. He never talks about him because he's not yeah. in entertainment. He's in like accounting. Steve Coyote. Yeah, they've been like they've been like friends since high school or whatever. Look at this game. What is that? A shrimp? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> Yeeps. So this game is nostalgic for you, yeah? Yes, I played this game a lot when I was a child. It was one of the three games I had as a child. Oh, man. It was great. I think you jump really high when you have this. The hammer? No, it's a little music box. That is a shrimp, isn't it? It's either a shrimp or a seahorse. I've oh. narrowed it down to those two possibilities. I always thought it was just like a fireball, like a flaming ball of fire. Well, it's got a face, I think. Yeah, yeah what? That's, that's a... That's a- uh, Oh, it's like a seahorse I, or something. I think it is a seahorse, yeah. What the hell? Yeah. Did that just blow your mind? A little bit. Your childlike mind? <laughs> your feeble cannot comprehend adult stuff mind? What are those, mailboxes? <laughs> With feet? Yeah, I think they're mallets. And is that a they're, can? They're like mallet people? Because I have a mallet. Right, and why wouldn't they have them for heads? I didn't realize the music goes on forever if you don't get hit. Oh, yeah. Love it. Get out of here, Daffy. Oh, dude, Daffy Duck. Your first boss fight, and it's over. <laughs> okay. I don't kill Daffy. It's rabbit season. It's not duck season. Oh, I see. Yeah, you see? Of course. You're supposed to get that. All right, this is the bonus stage. I got, oh. a, I got a three in a line, one up. Wow, a real game of skill. Uh, hit, hit it, but Wow, yeah, dude. dude. I'm kicking ass right now. Yeah, you really are doing very well. I need more carrots, though. You, you need more carrots. So yeah, man, this is the, one of the three games I had. I had Ragar, and I had, um... Mario 1? Wow. You're including the games that came with the system? Well, yeah, I mean, I had it. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> like, what are you, you should come over to my house. I have all the coolest games. Yeah. Mario 1, Duck Hunt, <laughs> and others soon. Well, you, I mean, listen, if I said, if I didn't say Mario, you would have been like, what, you don't have Mario? It came with the system. <laughs> of course, yeah, you're probably right. That was a no-win situation. Get out of here, poopy. Wow. Well, yeah. I didn't know you would raz me for saying that I had Mario. Ra I would never raz you for that. Oh, you raz me all the time. I would raz you for ra having Rygar. <laughs> <laughs> Rysgar. Razgar. That's a much different game. Okay, so I was saying beforehand, before I was so rudely interrupted by the capture completely farting out. Yes. Uh, oh, that's right, they explode. Okay. Um, so Ragar, right? Yes. There's... There's music in it, and it's very, like... I, I don't know, like, what... I guess it's, like, Eastern European. I remember, yeah, we played it on the show. Yeah. So, anyway, I've recently discovered... Well, I didn't recently discover, but I recently got into heavily the, uh, the concept of a hurdy-gurdy. Sweetie bird. Oh, yeah. Um, love hurdy-gurdies. Think they're beautiful instruments. Um, there's a As couple... popularized by the song Hurdy-Gurdy Man by Donovan. Oh, really? And then later it's cover, uh... Hurdy Gurdy Man by Neil on Neil's Heavy Concept album. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> it's it's on Spotify. <laughs> I uh in 1984, well in 1982 there was a show called The Young Ones, which I loved as a kid. I don't know how it would appear now, okay. but it was a it was a British show. It was like the Tim and Eric of its time, like oh, really weird, nice. Five up, dude. That's amazing. Yeah. Um and yeah, it was like a punk, a hippie, a mod and a a, like a mod? Yeah. Like a, of a Discord server? No. Uh jeez, I don't even know how I'd explain mods in England. Um I I'll have to look up a instead of making up a crappy uh explanation, I'll just look it up. But it was like four guys from disparate backgrounds and uh they live together. Uh and the show like the show is really surreal. Like their hamster would start talking to them, and then the food in the fridge would start talking, and then they'd throw someone by his hair through a window. It was- I loved it as a kid. Wow. Um, but the- the hippie, Neil, uh, released an album called Neil's Heavy Concept Album. And, like, he says things like, Oh, well, that's really great, guys. Why don't we all just bring Neil down? You know, stuff like that. And he- it was a weird album, but I used to love listening to it as a kid. And he covered Hurdy Gurdy Man. Wow. Yeah, that's what that whole story was leading up to. <laughs> cool. That non-story. Well, anyway, I was telling a story. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 you asked me. And that's I, true, yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry. I'm just razzing you, dude. That's dude, what we do, we razz each what other. What do you, <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, so, uh, Rygar, right? So, music, and then I started listening to Hurdy Gurdy music, and then I realized that Rhaegar is trying to replicate the sound of a hurdy-gurdy, oh. at least in my opinion. With its- with its limited Nintendo-like sounds that it could use? Yeah, so... That's- that's it, that's the story. Great! Well, I always thought- okay, so, like, I was like, okay, well one day maybe I'll learn to play the hurdy-gurdy, and if I do, then I want to cover a Rhaegar song. Yes! That would be rad. Okay. And for anyone who doesn't know, a hurdy-gurdy is also known as a wheel fiddle. What? And it's a mechanical that. stringed instrument that produces sound by a hand crank turned rosined wheel rubbing against the strings. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's it, it looks a little like a violin. Uh, uh I guess so, yeah. It's like a, sh a violin shape. Well, it's uh, th th once, once they started making it, like, pretty, um, the original hurdy-gurdies were literally just a box. Hmm. Uh, nice. Dude, you've got 11 Bugs Bunnies. And you're gonna need them, because rabbits are at the bottom of the food chain. But, they uh, get killed by everything. Oh, sure they do. They're fucking adorable. They are super adorable. I, you know, I go to museums a lot to see stegosauri, and, uh, the one that I just went to had a display of these various cat creatures throughout history, and they were, they were all taxidermied, and every one of them was eating a rabbit. <laughs> like, you just- the rabbits all have looks on their faces like, Fuck, man. They just... Whoa. Can't catch a break. What the fuck is happening here? I don't know. How do you... get to it? I don't know. Whoops. No! Your first rabbit death. I died. Um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, uh... 
I went to my parents' house recently, and uh, they have a lot of rabbits in their yard. Oh yeah. Um, and and I have a weird dissonance with rabbits because like you know the thing is that they're really fast, right? It's like oh rabbits are rabbit and the tortoise, mm -hmm. the tortoise and the hare, or whatever the hell. And uh, so, but whenever I see rabbits, I see them like in people's houses as pets. And they just kind of sit around and do nothing. Right. So, like, I'm like, well, in my mind, in my experiences, rabbits are just kind of like these dumb whatevers that just sit around. But then I saw these rabbits in the yard, and I, and I had that association. I was like, oh, these rabbits, they're just going to sit around. And then they just started going, and it was like, whoa! Yeah. Like they were just, like, fucking flying across the yard. And of, I was like, holy uh, shit, of, these fucking rabbits. Of course, man. It's their only means of defense, really. Does it go fast? Yeah, just try to outrun, or th their freeze technique, where they... You know, try to just hope that their enemy forgets about them or can't see them. <laughs> they're, they're they're very sweet creatures. I love them. And, sweet uh, creets. Yeah. Have you ever seen? Um, have you ever watched Watership Down or read the book? Um, sure. I loved it. It's one of my favorite books. Um, it's like a statement on like politics or some shit, right? You're thinking of Animal Farm. Okay, but Watership Down's like a statement on like politics or some shit, right? I don't believe so. Wiley Does, Coyote. I, I mean, it's a statement about like it. It, it has like environmental discussions about it. See, and, but it's you know, it, but it, I I just bring it up because it's based on or Richard Adams while he was researching it. To the best of my knowledge, Willie the Weasel game. I will most certainly not play your game, <laughs> Willie the Weasel. Listen, Willie. Yeah. Uh, oh, God, it's hard. Yeah, you, dude, you should just. You just stand over one hole and whack Willy as he weasels his way up the hole. <laughs> I love weasels, dude. You love weasel whacking? Dude, weasels are the best. Oh, it's a new biome! Nice. Uh, oh, the music! All I went to- <laughs> Oh! <laughs> damn, son. I forgot about that. Life comes at you fast in Bugs Bunny World. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, Why is he going to the desert to get to his birthday party? I thought it was just down the road. I don't know, but you just run. Just go. Okay, um... Oh, the spiky. But yeah, he, in order to research writing Watership Down, he apparently read this book called The Secret Life of Rabbits, and uh, it's all about um, the, the, the scientific study of how they... Uh, how they're always doing crime. Yes. <laughs> it's it's the, just like The Secret Life of Rabbits. I just think like, oh wow, what are they doing behind the scenes? <laughs> mostly eating... <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, it's it's cool because they do have like this entire society that we're not privy to, you know, because it happens right. underground and sort of out of sight of humans. And I don't know, they're they're beautiful little animals. Well, you're a beautiful little animal. You're a beautiful big cat. Oh wow! Meow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> come on, come on now. This is, you're making me blush over here. <laughs> come on, dude. I. I always thought a rabbit would be a cool pet because they're cute. Yeah, but I hate having pets. So oh It's an interesting Interesting statement from a man with three pets. Well, they're not mine. They're Susie's Well, you got to live with them Well, it wasn't my choice if it were my choice. I would have not gotten them not and gotten. <laughs> yeah Is that right? You wouldn't you wouldn't have mochi. Oh, no, I don't like pets. Wow That's surprising. Well, it's just like you love Mochi. You always say what a good boy he is. Well, it's because he is a good boy. <laughs> okay. What, you think? Oh, I'm gonna be mean to him because I don't want him around? Like, I'll just be nice to him. He's a good cat. Dude, if, if you told me in confidence that, uh, you fucking hated him, I, I really don't think he'd- I don't- I don't think he'd take it that hard. I do, actually. As long as you- as long as you give him butt pats while he eats? That's- that's all- that's all he desires. No, he- he drives me insane. Does he really? Yeah. Because How he, so? Because he always wants my attention. Oh yeah, he does. He's a bit- he's a big fan of you. Yes. Oh, a tornado. And it's like, yeah, I'll give it to him, but like... He's just like, shut up! Like, <laughs> just, just leave me alone! <laughs> that's- that's how I feel about pets. Is this- it's just like, it's just leave me alone, man. Like, I'm- I'm busy. Like, but, I- I- I just, you know, and I- just, I feel bad because they're just sweet little animals. Like, I love animals, they're great. But I don't want them in my house fucking screaming at me all the time. I guess I understand. I- when- when- when we first got Camilla, I was- she- 
she has massive separation anxiety. Yes. Um. So. Oh, I could not do a dog. Yeah, D- dude. Like the, for the first like couple of days, where I realized like, oh, it's just gonna be my life now, where this animal follows me around every step I take. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's gonna be hard to get into and get used to, rather. And uh, now, if. I take like five steps and she doesn't follow me. I'm like, where's my sweet baby? <laughs> Is she dead? <laughs> it's like you just get like these weird paternal skills just kick in. Wow. All right. Well, that's. I like how it's breathing. I don't like how it's breathing. It's really upsetting. And also, I like how you just destroyed a critical monument face first. Well, technically, it was already destroyed because they. It was. It used to be like a dog or whatever. I have heard that. I don't know how accurate that is, but I have heard that myself. Well, it looks pretty obvious when you look at it. Like that the face was messed with? Yeah. I I do remember reading somewhere that the way the rock broke off, like, various stress points indicated that it was... It had, a, like, a longer face initially. But, God, I can no longer trust anything I read on the internet. Mm. Just, I've I've been burned too many times before. Who is back there throwing tomatoes? Is that you, Tweety? <laughs> <laughs> it's Tweety, man. Taz is the scariest. I bet he is. He throws footballs at you. He's a devil. An an actual agent of Satan. <laughs> yeah, just create a wall of hammer that Tweety cannot possibly penetrate. Get, get out of here, you fuck. You Tweety yeah. fuck. Leave the safety of your cream puff. Got he. What's that little gray bar in the puff? Man, I don't know. It's probably just a glitch and just forgot it was in there or okay. something. All right. just, you know, I don't know. What, did I make the game? Jeez, I'm just asking you a question. <laughs> God, you are fucking getting so many lives. I'm telling you, man. I love You're this You're multiplying game. like actual rabbits. There you go. <laughs> These are all my children. Yeah. <laughs> it's a legacy. It's like Rogue, Rogue Legacy? What's it called? Rogue... Rogue One? Legacy? No, Rogue... I think it was called Rogue Legacy, right? I don't know. It was a roguelike? What are you talking about? There's a platformer. Okay. There's, you play as a little knight, and then when you die, your, like, child goes on the mission instead. Oh! And, and then they have, like, a little mutation of something that you had. I do remember a game like this. Yeah. We played something like that on Game Grumps, where, uh, you... You're like a knight or something, and every time you die, a different character takes over from yeah, there. Yeah, that's Rogue Legacy. That that is what that is. I, I if I remember correctly, that's the name of the game. But Jeez. we're thinking of the same game. Yes. Wow, that is, I I enjoyed that game. That is one of the most forgettable names of any game I could ever. Imagine. Well, it's because it's a roguelike. That's why it was named that way. I don't know what that means. Um, it's a. There was a game called Rogue, uh huh, and the idea was like if you died, it was permanent, and then like the the next time you played, it was like completely different. Mm. Um. So now, any game that in, employs that concept, where like you die and then like the world changes, throws the it, word Rogue in it's there. It's called a roguelike. That's interesting. But now, there's a completely new term called Rogue Light. Okay. Which is like. Like I a diet I, beer. I, I don't understand the difference between it, to be honest with you. Okay. I don't know what the difference is between a roguelike and a roguelite. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's all words. Yeah. They're all just video games in the end. <laughs> try to get from point A to point B. Concentrate on one point. Other points try to stop you. <laughs> video games. Obstacles. <laughs> Popsticles! <laughs> wow, you didn't get hurt by that. Uh, yeah, if you, you can stand on the boulders. Interesting. Yeah, pretty cool, right? I love it. It's like, this game is really good and everything. <laughs> AVGN doesn't even know what he's talking about. This game rules. I wonder... Stupid I wonder... Because, you know, everyone seems to love some game, you know? No matter how ridiculous it is. Right. I wonder how much flack he's had to deal with throughout the years, and what his number one game of blowback was. Uh... You know, that's a good question. Yeah, I mean, I've never met him, but that that would be my que- that would be my one question to ask him if I got the chance. Yeah, I should I, sh- I should ask him. Oh, you do know him. Yeah, I could text him right now. Holy crap! I'd be like, bro, what game do you get the most flack for? Well, I didn't. My realize friend wants to know. I was He's a realize, big fan. I was sitting next to a big swinging dick celebrity like Aaron Hansen. Hey, man, you know, I was I I've done a lot of things, man. I. uh... I've been on podcasts. Mm-hmm. Never heard of those. They're like, uh... 
It's like a radio show, but... But usually dumber. Oh. Because, <laughs> like, radio shows had to go through, like, a... Like a, like a like a whole some sort of vetting of, process yeah where it's like oh well you know and if we want to put money into this then like we got to see if this is a good show or not and and then oh it's got to have a concept and like we got to know that people are funny and and then it goes through that and then it goes on the air and then it's like oh it's a show but podcasts it's like any fucking douchebag can make a podcast <laughs> <laughs> shout out to all the people whose podcasts Aaron has been on Oh, they're all great. Any fucking douchebag can make a podcast. Well, I'm not saying the ones that I've been on are Yeah, I'd bad. love to be on your podcast. <laughs> no, you seem uh, like any fucking douchebag. Listen, I've been invited onto a lot of podcasts that I've said no. Hmm. Because I'm like, I don't want to be on this shitty podcast, but instead I'm like, no, I'm busy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Shout out to anyone who- well, never mind. You know where I'm going with that. This is all a joke, by the way. Of course. I just need everyone to know that. It's definitely not because I painted myself into a corner and <laughs> I'm sweating balls yeah, over here. I'm telling too much truth right now. <laughs> making myself uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> that's what- that's how I do it, man. <laughs> There's so many situations I've been in where I'm like, I'm just gonna stop talking now. Mm. I wish- There's a lot of people I wish would follow your example. There's one I wish I could tell the story of, but it's way too embarrassing, so I'm not going to. For- way too embarrassing for who? Me. Oh, okay. Well, then you should definitely tell it. No. No? <laughs> Are you sure? Look, it's Yosemite Sam! Yosemite Sam! Yosemite! What if I just kind of, like, Shit. stop talking he's, he's and ground really the whole playthrough to a halt? Yo, he's good. Well, he's got a gun. Well, it's a cork gun. Is it? Yeah, it's okay. not- those aren't bullets. He led with the gun! <laughs> I gotta watch that again, because I don't remember a single thing from them. Oh, the Mad Dog, Mad Dog McCree. McCree. It's an we incredible should, playthrough. Just play another one of those games. Those American laser games? Yeah, those like, shitty... Don't you FMV dare say games. shitty. Oh, are they good? I friggin' love them. Oh, oh, good for you. Dude, oh, good! The Minnesota part-time Patriot players worked hard on that game and their acting skills. <laughs> or whatever they were called. The Minnesota part-time players? Yeah, well, remember we- we... I guess you don't remember because you just said you don't remember anything from it. No, not a single thing. It, we- we sort of why. realized that, like... A lot of them weren't probably professional actors. They were just either friends of the person making the game or- or like, you know... Like, just part-time, like, for fun actors at the local playhouse. Right. Yeah. It was... It was part of what made it so lovable. I... Uh, I feel like that's the case for most games in that era, where it's like, Oh, we have voice acting now, and it's like, yeah, but we can't afford... ...real actors. Oh god, Zelda's Adventure. Yeah. Where we actually found out it was... Like, we, we, we'd postulated that, uh... ...the person doing the voice was just, like, someone in the office. Who could kind of do voices, you know? Yeah. Um, and then we looked it up, and that's exactly what it was. <laughs> Who could kind of... I think I can do a voice! Ken, you've got a deep voice. Would you mind... ...playing this dragon? And he'd be like, sure! And then you're in the game, and it's like, I am the dragon! <laughs> 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 Alright, I gotta kill Yosemite. Can you throw anything at him from above? I got him, I got him right away. The thing is, you- you're like, you can't attack. There we go. You can't attack when you get hit. Fuck. Got nice. him! Nice! Well done. It's a pretty tough- it's a pretty tough round. Yeah. But luckily, you get your balloon out of there because you hit a man with a hammer. <laughs> <gasps> Willy the Weasel! Boy, I- I have no recollection of Willy the Weasel. All these other characters look awfully familiar. But, I guess the designer of this game was like, I think I'll shoehorn in my Willy the Weasel character that I'll they'll then sell on lunchboxes for eighty thousand dollars. Yeah, maybe Warner Brothers will want my character. Did I do it? Ugh. Oh, I have to do it again. Uh -oh. I want to do it again. The other one's way more fun. I just press a button and get things. This one I have to try. Yeah. Please don't make me try. <laughs> Come on. Okay, that was a one up, right? Yep. You're doing well, dude. Bro. Bro? Fuck. You've got 32 rabbis. <laughs> Need more. <laughs> Baruch Adonai. <laughs> is this a new biome now? Oh, it is. It's got new music. 
Yeah, oh, this, this is this is more like a like a like a some sort of Badlands of N Nevada. Whoa, Badlands! You yeah. can tap for uh, one black or one red. <laughs> I'm talking about magic, by the way. I know you are, you silly goose. Dude, I didn't tell you. Oh right. god. Um, I went to, cause you know it's like the world is like happening again, and yes. like and like, you know we're vaccinated now, so it's like we can just go out and do things, you know, kind of. Yeah, to a degree. Um, but there was a place I went to a card shop, and they were doing their first tournament. Oh, in that's like a year and a half. That's wonderful. It was a magic tournament, and it was a it was a modern format, which I know you're not familiar with. I think you, when you played it, was like base two or what do they call it? Well, they called it modern, but oh, they called it modern. <laughs> well, oh. it's yeah, but modern. The the defi the very definition of modern <laughs> changes as time goes on. Well, modern's the eternal format, so it's it. Maybe it was the same. Yeah, because you were playing like New Phyrexia. Yeah. So I guess that would have been the very beginning of modern. What you think of as modern. Yeah. But anyway. Look at all a, those scrimps. It was a modern tournament. I never played a modern tournament. I have a modern deck that I've used a couple times. Whoa, 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 whoa run! Whoa, whoa, go, whoa, go, whoa, go, whoa. go, run! <sighs> and uh, I what? lost embarrassingly. Oh, yeah. Uh, people are good at magic. I did okay. But I didn't do great. I keep thinking like, well, I clocked in a lot of years playing magic. I'm probably pretty good at it. And then I just get smoked. Well. Well, it's just because because you have we played a couple matches with the decks that you had as a kid, mm -hmm. and they're just like not good anymore. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean that's how that's how you keep a game like that healthy by making sure that the the older guys can't just dominate, you know, by using their super powerful over uh, overcharged cards. Well, the weird thing about those old cards is that like it's just that they didn't know how to balance it right. Right. So you had like. You had cards like Black Lotus that were like super powerful. Yes. And like Time Walk where it costs two and you take an extra turn. Like what? That's ridiculous. Yeah, I know. It was a very different game back then. But then you had like Vanilla Creatures where it was like a six drop and it was like a four four and it's like, this is terrible. You are speaking a totally different language th than a lot of people listening to this will understand. They'll be yeah. like, can we get back to talking about Bugs Bunny, please? <laughs> the point is... Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh you do have some great cards in those decks. Oh, well, thank you. You have- you have that Rofalos. Oh, yeah! This is ridiculous. I think he's banned. Rofalos? Yeah. Was it- Because he's so unfair. I- I love him. Don't you, like, tap him for- for, like, is green for, like, each creature or some shit? I believe that's right. I, I had Maloku, the clouded mirror. <laughs> the bubble will take you elsewhere. I can't do that down. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> the bubble will deliver you to freedom! Boy, it's weird. So, is that because they're soap? They turn into bubbles? I, you know, I have no fucking clue. I think I, that's what it I, is. I, I think they're soda, maybe? Oh. I suppose that could be as well. Right? That would also have... So if you knock him off, you... A you bit of a combination. <laughs> oh. oh. You loose rocks from the ceiling? Yeah, and it kills everyone on the screen. Oh, neat. And wow, that's that full-on Buchawawa sound. Yeah, dude. At, like from the end of Contra. Buchawawa. <laughs> dude, the sound effects in this game are wild. If once I get to a breakable brick, I'll, I'll have you listen to it, and it's it just sounds like so brutal. Mm, I have to go make water. Oh, you got to pee? Mm -hmm. Oh, is that why you keep looking? Oh, oh here, 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 this is the finale, right here. All right, here's, here's, here's the end of the episode. All right. Okay. Ready? Yes. It's like. <laughs> oh, I do like that. Oh, yeah, what? Oh, God, what else has that exact sound? I don't know. Bugs Bunny birthday blowout? And, and no, there's another... It's like a Contra-esque kind of... kind of thing. Dang, I wish I could remember, but I loved it. Bushawawa is probably the best, though. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. It, it, it's only surpassed by Lick My Balls when you open a, oh. a door in Goonies, too. No. Lick My Balls. <laughs> Lick My Balls. Oh, get out of here, you... Hurdy bubbles. I remember this stage gave me a lot of trouble when I was a child. Hurdy bubbles. Yeah, they hurt. They're bubbles that hurt. Mm. It's a distant cousin of the hurdy gurdy, <laughs> which is where you get your ass kicked by a woman named Gertrude. <laughs> oh, don't talk to her. She's hurdy gurdy. <laughs> She'll get you. Uh, oh man. You can do it. Oh yeah. I can do it. Wow, look at that. 
That's right, this has all these, like, disappearing blocks that- Ah! Mm, uh, that's really nerve-wracking. Oh, and oh, I only have one heart and I gotta fight Elmer Food! Bud! Next time on Game Rush. Oh no, what? Are you, really? We're gonna play more of this? Well, I mean, you have to pee, don't you? Oh. Tell you once, I tell you a thousand times. Shut up. <laughs>